Is there a surefire formula for staying married happily ever after? Steve Hartman is making inquiries. We came to Indiana looking for one of life's most elusive secrets. We'd heard that deep within Knox County, Indiana, back amongst these cornfields, there was a cluster of people who had all unlocked the mystery of a long and happy marriage. Married 61, 61 years. years. It'll be 59 in December. 55 in November. Soon be 53. Four. 54, okay. <laughs> but here's what's even more remarkable. They're all related. Together, the eight Clinkenbeard siblings have amassed nearly half a millennia of marriage, 449 years total. So I figured if anyone had the secret to wedded bliss, it would have to be these couples. Everybody just kind of yeah. gather in. So I gathered them for a series of interviews. And here's what I learned. Look right here, big smiles. If you want to stay married forever, women, you need to speak your minds. I could tell when she was ticked. Or not. I usually keep my mouth shut. And men, you need to be deferential. You treat a lady like a lady. Or not. I said I love to fish and I'm not going to change that. Unfortunately, almost everything I got was a contradiction. There is temptation. I never was tempted. Really, the only thing the Clinkenbeards could agree on was what their mother Dorothy taught them and told them repeatedly, that except in very rare circumstances, divorce should not be an option. She, she instilled that in us kids, you know. My mom was pretty stickler about that. When we said, I do, to me that meant however long we lived. It meant suffering through some bumpy times. But the oldest brother, John, says it's well worth it in the end. Well, I've been married 65 years. John sat on the couch alone because his wife, Lillian, is in the hospital. I don't know how I'd get along without her. I never got my easy answer to what makes a happy marriage. We love one another, so. But I did get eight solid reasons to never give up looking. I couldn't imagine being wife without her.